Away from that, now trade policies are being violated by importers and exporters in the country. As part of its enforcement of extant policies, Nigerian Customs Service Zone A states it will continue to seize goods that violate trade laws. If Unaya Aze reports. There is no responsible government that will like its citizens to become second class. And there is no responsible government that will allow its country to become a dumping ground. Hussein Ejibono, Acting Area Controller, Customs Federal Operations Unit, Zone A, asserting that Nigeria would not become a dumping ground, showing seizures of more than 1 billion naira made by the command in November, including 8,999 bags of 50 kg foreign parboiled rice, an equivalent of 15 trailer loads, containers of tomato paste, used clothes, tires, compressed cannabis sativa and prohibited charcoal containers, among others. He warns that smuggling under any guise constitutes a violation of policies of the government. In November alone, we succeeded in arresting about 8,999 bags of rice in one month. So that goes to tell you that that is what is in vogue now. It's rice. The modus now is for them to go right inside the bush. That is where they will gather the rice and they will be taking them piecemeal. Now we have discovered all those two routes and even in some houses. We, we broke into some houses at the borderline. Regarding smuggling cars over land borders and validating documents, he states that current policies prevent this. There is no law granting power to anybody to smuggle vehicle and come and pay duty afterwards. Some time ago, you know it is government policy and the government may decide to relax their policy and whatever policy government gives to us, that is what we follow. He reveals that through his intervention, the command has been able to identify shortfalls in duty payments raising over 45.5 million naira through demand notices. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.